Feels good to be retired. From working on cars at the dealership, that is. Now I just need to work on retirement from work. Yay, yay. All right, here we go. Monday morning. Don't need to worry about leaving work early today. Ha, ah, ha, yeah, yay. Yeah. That's cause I'm not working right now. Need a break. Uh oh, sounds like they're out of something. Better not be my green tea matcha powder. Shoot. Hey Lisa, I'll get the um, Southwest veggie and also a ice green, t uh, vente ice green tea latte with light ice and eight scoops of matcha. That'll be it. Now I gotta think of some creative uh, ways and things got a brainstorm here got to figure out how to make our videos better you know this and that get the channel growing yep good stuff it's monday so i guess i'll clean up the garage and organize my my toolbox or something all right tried cleaning the garage but ended up making a bigger mess all right picking a baby girl from school Nice day today, huh, baby girl? Yeah, quick. Hey, look. Hey. What's up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was a ticket. Ooh, jet ski. Let's run one of those. Husky. And a puppy. Here we go. Ooh, happy hour. I don't want to get beer. You don't want a beer? Can we go to the park? Get one of these days. All right, we're back at Raya's favorite spot, Brigantine, for her mac and cheese. Good job putting in your order. What was your order? Mac and cheese with fries. Do you mind? You guys full? You full? Oh, I'm stuffed. Monday after work special. It's all good. Nothing wrong with riding dirty once in a while. You got caught riding dirty. All right, we got Jerry's 2005 um, WRX Subaru. So here we are, we're gonna slap on some rear brake pads on this. Oh, I'm pretty excited for you, man. I mean, that's, I'd be nervous too. Yeah, you know, you just don't know what to expect. You know, new beginnings, career change. Yeah. Maybe there's a reason why. Hey, just a heads up, your rotors kind of have a lip. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Um, you oh, may yeah, need gonna, uh, rotors down the line. Right? Yeah, you, there's like a little bit of a lip, just a heads up. But then they got different like, spots though, right? Like, I think so. Yeah, well, there's like certain, um, certain stations and whatnot. Where'd you, where'd you guys go recently? Oh, Vegas? Did you fly? We just did 24 hours. We even did a one day lease. I didn't really get a fever. I, oh, I was sore. I had uh, like, you know, aches and I felt sore. Okay, so I know what to expect on my second shot. My in-laws are getting their second shot, I think, tomorrow. Uh, well, I heard that the first one's still supposed to be pretty good, you know? Oh, so the second one's more like a booster, like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, brakes are pretty thin, Jerry. Not close metal to metal, but... Yeah, I think these might be for the front, dog. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have more? Or do you have another set? Yeah, because this, this looks pretty big to be rear pads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are way smaller but while we're in here it says front yeah you're close to oh yeah you're you're on the sensors oh fronts look plenty thick really yeah just you know i gotta just take it apart from from here yeah. through the window it looks good 
let's pull it apart and then, then we can judge it because it's hard to judge when you can't really see and just come on so yeah it looks like his brakes is still okay in the front it looks like the outers are wearing a little bit more than the inners so we'll say you're about 30 percent still so you could hold off but you could go ahead and order it now too just to get it over with i've had plenty of experiences like this it's all good this is not the first time all right jerry's back here at Ixer garage just need to slap some pads on ROM pads came in last time. So now it's front and rear. Let's see what's up. Go ahead and do the back. Check the front a little bit. <laughs> the dog needs more content. <laughs> That's what's up. I loosened this with a breaker bar first, by the way. Didn't feel like using a compressor. But the dog needs more content. <laughs> so these are the rears now. This is what we had last time, but it's the front. So we might be doing both. So just a heads up. So you know aftermarket pads they like giving the hardware almost every single time i've never seen these fit right so since we have it we'll try but if the pads don't have enough play we'll put we'll use the existing ones we'll see for the vaccine Yeah, something like that. Oh, geez. <laughs> Nothing. Just uh, enjoy my vacation. Yeah, it's telling me, don't worry, got your back, bro. But you have my uh, brother in law. Also there, gotta loop these pins up. Make sure they don't get seized, you know? Okay, so we don't cover nothing, man. Well, the building, if something happened to the exterior of the building, like if the tiles started coming off or the roof, I'm guessing. But other than that, nope, we pay those clowns. Yeah, that's probably the only time, that was the first time I did a clutch on the ground. But that's when I was still fresh, you know, like, cause I was still like 20s at the time. That was back in 2000, yeah, I was like 24. Damn, just revealed my age. And those are the days. That was the car to have, a DX Civic, no, no power steering. That's a race car. That's a race car. Let's see, let's just go. It's the same. All right, let's go, let's see. Booyah, it fits. What's up? There we go. Bro. I did pretty good putting out like sodas and stuff. But yeah, yeah me too. I haven't been drinking soda lately. Just lately though. But you really gotta watch. You gotta watch what you eat and stuff, they say. same as the other side so some cars some of the stop tags i think i want to say they don't have wear sensors you know luckily on yours you have at least one but it's yeah. just on one side oh yeah yeah that's a yeah, trip we, uh, saw that last time. yeah well at least you have a sensor oh, it's only one side yeah just one side on on the homie's car when he had one he didn't have no yeah. sensors so that sucks because you really have to check the brakes periodically or else you know yeah, like the Disneyland tickets are like that way too. 
huh? Uh, yeah, right before COVID happened. That was uh, 2019, like December. Oh, at, at Disneyland? For Disneyland? Yeah. Yeah. I was all over. I went past the eight, past the 56. Twerk, twerk, twerk to BD5. All right, that was the back. Got to I'm gonna check his front, so I'm gonna have him turn the car around. Like Snoop Dogg said, gotta pump your brakes. See, that's killing two birds with one stone. That way you know if your brake lights are good. Oh. Get these out of the way. Jerry's gonna turn the car around so we have better lighting. Oh yeah, I already have it. Oh, you mean you, you had corrosion on the terminal? Corrosion. That's why you gotta inspect it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you got snow. <laughs> Informa. Yeah, you try to clean it. You gotta clean that off. Yeah, so Otherwise. I should try to clean that this weekend or what? Here, I might have a spray. Or if not, baking soda. You just let it soak, work. right? Yeah, baking soda, water, you know. No, I, on my last battery, we cleaned it too. And then oh, we really? swapped it out. Yeah, because uh, that's yeah. why the battery pads help too. It helps prevent that, but we'll, we'll clean it off real quick or as much as we can. All right, there's some battery cleaner soaking on the terminals, taking off some of that snow corrosion. I got to check his front brakes, see where they're at. By eyeballing it, it looks like about 25 to 30, but I'm going to take it out just to see. So yeah, you got a mean lip right here. So, but if you don't feel a shake, I'd roll with it. Um, just when you brake, kind of pay attention to braking, like see how it feels. Like if it feels like it's kind of not grabbing as it should, then you'd probably need rotors. Like I said, on my cars, I just kept slapping pads on, but this is a pretty mean lip right here. It's pretty deep. Oh, these are dual pistons. Oh yeah, they're about 20%. And actually the outer is actually thinner than the inners. You look, oh no, they're about the same. You look deceiving. Yeah, so we'll change them. So let's see if these newer pads would ride on that lip or not. Because if it does, you just don't want it digging into the pad. Ooh, barely. Oh, that's good. <laughs> cool, see how it's underneath it? So let's say if the pad was all the way right on the lip. Yeah, we don't want that. But yeah, those are the days, man. Growing up in the 80s over there. I mean, yeah. Because you were just bored. Damn. I like this thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, hung around the wrong crowd. You yeah, about yeah. that life, I guess. But. I mean, like, this is 2021 now, you know? Yeah, it's <laughs> different. Different. All right, just like the back. Since the rotor is on this side, the sensor goes in the bottom. But if this caliper was in the front, rotate it, it'll be, the sensor would be up top. So just depending on the positioning of the, the caliper. So Jerry doesn't feel a shake, so he's cool with not replacing the rotors, if you guys are wondering. Hey, your daughter's cool, they have any um, actually, he threw up today, I heard. Oh, what? Yeah, and he had, um, like his, some kind of diarrhea or something, like his poop oh, looked like slime or whatever. Oh, yeah, so I called the vet, but he, I think he's good now. Oh. Yeah, Mamba had some training classes yesterday, so it was cool. We taught him how to, you know, how to earn his treat or whatever. And my mother's like, that's it? That's all you guys, that's all he, he got, you guys got out of it? I'm like, well, you ain't gonna learn everything in one day, you know? Yeah, there's like seven other dogs there. I actually have a better tool for this, but for now, this is the rig setup I'm using. It's all good, whatever it takes. All right, take off the air pop, air bubbles out of the dust boot so it doesn't get torn. Put the caliper over the pads. Be careful not to tear this. Let's lift up, there you go. See how the air came off? Cool. 
Oh, your calipers say Tokiko. Just realized that. Oh. Yeah, it's a trip. They're like semi adjustable. Oh, yeah, I remember those. It's not like a full coil over, but it's like Yeah. You ever work with any of those? Um, I think once. I actually took them out because they were blown. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Right there, it says Tokiko. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tokiko. Cool. So now we got to do the other side. Same thing. Oh yeah, I remember there was there, there was no houses there yet. Everything was open, yeah. Yeah, that's why like when we were playing ball with those guys and they had a jersey Santa Venetia. I was like, why does that name sound familiar? Yeah, those guys play basketball there in the morning, like seven in the morning on a Saturday. Yeah, I almost made it once, but it happened to be a rainy day. All right, Jerry is all set. Front and rear pads on his 2005 WRX. We cleaned up his battery terminals. Uh, how old is his battery? A few years? Yeah, two or three. Two or three? Okay. Oh yeah, 2018. So yeah, three years. So you're kind of in the yeah. kind of in the mid range. So probably by winter, just the when I did the bulb, it wasn't that uh, bad. So every time the homies come by, I always ask them if they check their oil. They always say, yeah, but when I check the dipstick, when I check the dipstick, yeah, there ain't no oil. So we got to add some oil. When was the last time you changed your oil? 6,000 ago? Yeah, you know what? You know, people say, oh, you don't need to change your oil at 3,000. Well, this is the very reason why you do. You know, like, you know, there are all these myths and stuff, but I mean, you can't go wrong with 3,000. I mean, now if you have synthetic, it's different, but anyway, so we need to add oil for them. That's one quick way to Lose an engine is uh, lack of lubrication. All right, I got some of this Castrol high mileage. I just used this yesterday on the car I worked on. And it barely registers. So I need to add more. All right, let's see where are we at now? There we go. We're close to the full mark now. On the back side, it's at the full mark. On the front side, it's not so full. I'll add a little bit more. We just lessen his chances of the engine seizing. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and go on a road test real quick and then come on back. Right. Yeah, just around. Uh, just oh, okay. Around, make sure everything's cool. All right gonna go road test real quick and then we should be good all right Jerry's back he said everything's cool so we are good to go slapped on pads on his 2005 WRX front and rear anyway hope you guys had a good one Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.